All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, sisters, you too. This is Pastor Dow. You know, it is true, it is true, it is true, it is true. We live in a world to where there are certain topics and certain subjects, according to some people, is better off never even discussed or even talked about. Well, the truth is, is if we are going to selectively pick and choose, um, you know, what, what we should talk about, what we shouldn't talk about, um, what we should ignore, what we shouldn't ignore, uh, how in the world can we ever really truly educate ourselves? concerning the truth of a matter if we marginalize it, if we sweep it under the rug, uh, or if we just allow the perceived taboo to continue to keep, um, you know, going forward. Uh, you know, th th there's a lot of subjects I can think about right now just literally off the top of my head. Um, and and it's, it's remarkable and amazing to watch people's reaction when you do talk about certain things. Because... What happens is people for the first time really, truly get introduced to their heart. They really, truly do. And there are a lot of things that most people are just really, truly not ready to confront and deal with concerning their heart. And that's why truth today, you know, one thing about truth, it, 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 it's, it's the truth. John 8, 32 says it. Truth is sets free. But if you do not, let's say you don't like that particular truth, no matter what that truth may be, okay? Let's say you don't, you do not like that um, particular truth. You have biases and prejudices against that truth. Uh, it's, it's something that you really, truly don't even want to discuss. You, you just want to ignore it. Then if you're bound in that area simply because you want to find peace outside of the confines and outside of the bonds of, of truth, then how is it that we have become so comfortable with living a lie in our lives? I mean, after all, when truth is dropped on your doorstep, you got one or two things you can do. You can ignore it and act like it ain't there and hope that one day over a period of time that it just goes away. Or either you can investigate it Check it out. Do 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 diligence, and then start to walk in that truth, and then be free. I mean, that's what it is. But you know, we um we live in in a, a funny world today. The majority of people today in the world are literally just a social psychopaths, basically. I mean, we have a bunch of psychotic psychopaths that are literally number one they're running the world, um, and. It's a scary thing when you get somebody like Hitler that says, if you tell a lie long enough, it will become the truth. That kind of thought is disturbing to me. That's very disturbing to me because, again, truth sets free. No matter how unpopular it is, no matter what you may hate or discriminate against, the acid test of truth is it sets free. Um <sighs> But I'll tell you one thing, the lie, whoo, it binds. It binds. I'm actually looking at something here for a second. I was just trying to re research something. I've learned in the few years I've been living on this earth that if you are afraid to explore things that you've already built up walls and biases again about, then you've met the real true you. And most of us, you know, in this world, or most people I've met, is that they, they like painting a picture, like they have it all together. Um, they're fine, they're confident. Um, man, but I tell you, truth does strange things, especially if you're not able to embrace it. Have you ever seen anyone who already, according to their own book of the law, 
have, have already have an opinion about something, only later on to go back and say, you know what? I was wrong on that because they, they explored it. Uh, they use self-autonomy. They done their due diligence. They searched these things out. And then later they had to go change their mind. And then all the people who chose to stay in darkness or another cloak of malicious or in lies, in lies um, you found out that these people start to hate you. Everyone that is of the truth, they will hear the truth. But I know one thing is for sure. Truth always sets free and the lie always binds. Think about it for a second. Search your heart and ask yourself this question. Are you really, truly a man or woman of truth? Are there certain things that pain you to think about? Are there, is, is there, are there truths that you know they to be true, but you're scared and very fearful to explore them because you may have to change? Wow, man, I tell you. How in the world can you really, really, truly know who you are unless you test the limits of your own heart? Hey, this is a good thought. This is really it. This is a good video right here. Huh? We need to start checking these things out. And that's the truth. And that's the truth. Straight away. Hey, keep the faith.